guys how's it going it's Andy here today I am back and I'm going to show you my top three favorite resources that I use um, that I use to learn how to program and to help me get my first job as a developer so without further ado let's get into it I have all three sites open here so um, th so the the sites are uh, so the sites are code gym free code camp and Udemy uh, okay, you guys uh, can all leave now. <laughs> Video's over. Just kidding. So, uh, actually, um, stick around. I want to be explaining why you might want to start uh, with one over another and the advantages and disadvantages of each one. So, as you can see, the first one here is CodeGem.cc. Um, I actually, this is the one that I stumbled on the latest uh, because this actually teaches Java. And I'm actually a big fan of, uh, like, courses that try to gamify uh, the learning experience, which is what CodeGym actually does. So um, there's actually, if we look at the course here, there's actually 40 different levels, um, but right now only up till 30, I believe, is unlocked. Uh, they're still working on uh, these two down here. So you have the basic Java syntax, Java core, and then you have these two um, multi-threading collections that I haven't started yet. So I actually started using CodeGym when I got my first job offer because uh, I'm not, I was uh, traditionally like a, like a traditional web developer that used uh, like JavaScript uh, front end and then also uh, I use Ruby on Rails backend, but the job was a Java job. So I had to learn how to program in Java. So I started looking around uh, courses for Java and um, I tried a few different ones. And I think um, that CodeGym is definitely my favorite one because it's very practical. Um, if, if we go into like these lessons here, uh, actually every single lesson, it'll give you like an article to read. And then right after the, right after the article, it'll actually have like, um, like tasks for you to complete. And what's nice about the task that you complete is that they actually have an, uh, a plugin that you can use and a really popular IDE called um, IntelliJ. So you don't actually have to like code on some uh, janky web editor. You can actually uh, use like a full-fledged IDE uh, like IntelliJ and install CodeGems plugin and you get all the features of IntelliJ uh, while you're um, practicing Java. Okay, so um, so yeah, I, I would definitely check check out CodeGym if you are just uh, if you want to start uh, learning how to program by yourself, but you're not sure like what specific area you want to program in yet. Because when you, uh, you there's a lot of things you can program, right? There's like mobile apps, there's uh, there's websites, and there's also like uh, just straight up standalone uh, Java apps. But I think Java is a very good place to start because um, it's uh, statically typed and it's uh, widely used so um, you can find help on a lot of online forums uh, and also it's, it can be used for anything like uh, they say that Java is a multi paradigm language so you can use it like you can use it everywhere from your from re refrigerators to the web to you know it's it's Java is basically everywhere so uh, if you're not sure where exactly you want to start, I would definitely start with Java. See if you like uh, like the idea of programming. Okay, so um, so that is CodeGym. Um, now let's move over to Free Code Camp. So Free Code Camp, I actually it is actually my the first place that I uh, first resource that I use to learn programming. Uh, I Free Code Camp teaches you how to um, do web programming. Now, if we take a look at the curriculum over here, they actually just revamped their curriculum this year. Uh, I took uh, I I took Free Code Camp a while, a long time ago, so I do have all these com most of these complete. Yeah, I do have all these complete. Um, actually, if we just go to my profile here, you'll see. But um, yeah, okay. So you can see here that. I did most of my stuff back in like 2017, 2018, have this like one weird, the first task in 2016 and then a year later I actually started doing things. But okay, yeah, so um, so yeah, free CoCamp, uh, if we take a look at their curriculum, right, they actually go over um, a bunch of web dev stuff. So they have a responsive web design certification, which is a bunch of HTML, CSS, um, no JavaScript. So it just uh, it's just hard coded HTML and CSS. Um, it's nice to know, but um, the thing is, like uh, these days, 
Uh, it's something you definitely should learn, but a lot of times these days you will never be really hard coding HTML and CSS. You're, uh, a lot of times you use front end libraries to create that HTML element, or you use like a back end server language and then uh, a templating language to dynamically generate like HTML elements. So it's still uh, nice to know, but uh, it, you hardly will be uh, coding HTML and CSS like uh, by yourself. Um, there's also JavaScript data structures and algorithm. Uh, this is where it starts getting interesting. You can start learning how to program. JavaScript's a, a very fun language uh, to program on the front end because you get to see what's actually happening, right? Like a lot of times you uh, you would code and you get to see like the changes in the terminal, but uh, that's like, it's like, okay, so what? Like I see like two arrays in the terminal, but actually with JavaScript, you can like draw circles, you can like change uh, uh, like colors, you can uh, do a bunch of like flashy things on the web. So it's a very fun language to, uh, to program in and to manipulate HTML and CSS with. So uh, yeah, it, um, so it looks like it teaches you like different paradigms of programming. And um, so let's see, JavaScript, Okay, and then front end libraries. Um, so front end libraries, um, I didn't get, so I didn't learn, I, I do know React and Redux, but I did not learn it from FreeCodeCamp. Um, because at the time when I was doing it, React course was still under development. Uh, it basically said like, hey, go learn React somewhere else and then come back and do these projects. But um, yeah, so that's why I don't have any of the uh, React uh, finish, so I can't comment on that, but definitely learn uh, a front end library like React. jQuery is a little, questionable uh, because uh, a lot of times jQuery, a lot of things you can do in jQuery, um, you don't actually need jQuery for because uh, JavaScript has advanced pretty far and a lot of things you do in jQuery, you can do it in vanilla JavaScript. So it's a little, I, I would definitely try to stay away from jQuery and possibly bootstrap as well. Like I wouldn't try to like, um, I, I wouldn't try to like uh, rely on them as a crutch. But yeah, React, Redux, those are really important industry standard uh, that you should learn. So the free code camp, mainly web dev, uh, really cool, completely free. Um, another thing I forgot to mention about uh, Code Gym is uh, they used to be free, but not anymore. You have to pay around $30 a month to participate. But I think the price is like totally worth it because uh, because of how well structured everything is and the time and effort that the developers put into this. Um, site is definitely worth it uh, for what you get back in return. Uh, of course, assuming yeah, assuming everyone gets a programming job, but I'm sure I'm sure anyone who sticks with it will get a job eventually. So uh, my third recommendation is Udemy. So I'll and so as you see, I have a lot of Udemy courses here. Um, so at first, I was actually really against like uh, actually paying to learn programming. I use primarily free CoCamp and YouTube videos. But the problem uh, that I quickly realized with learning off of YouTube is that a lot of things are like very, um, like there's a lot of information, but it's really hard to like bundle and package everything together in the correct order so that you learn them efficiently. And Udemy, basically um, you have an instructor, an instructor that sets up everything for you and it gives you like, um, they give you uh, the whole like list of things you should learn and then it, there's like a sequence of things that you learn and I just like that structure and order uh, and I definitely think that since these courses are usually around ten dollars it's definitely worth uh, picking up if you have ten dollars um, and also what's nice is that um, these two um, code gym for Java and also free code camp for HTML and CSS uh, the thing about them is that they're very practical application based uh, learning so basically you you learn something and you implement it right away. Uh, what's nice about uh, Udemy is that instead of just learning something, the application uses something. You can actually learn the theory behind it. So I remember one of the first courses I bought was JavaScript, understanding the weird parts, which I highly recommend. Uh, it tells you like the uh, like the quirks of JavaScript and uh, the neat little parts um, and things to like watch out for, right? So uh, that's definitely. Uh, it, it's really nice to just know how uh, a language works under the hood. And I feel like when you're just learning how to use like a programming language as a tool, you kind of miss that theory. So Udemy helped me like supplement part of it. So yep, those are the three uh, that I recommend, uh, three resources that I recommend. Uh, so CodeGym, Free Code Camp, and Udemy. Now I'm not gonna say like which one's like better than the other. I actually recommend uh, I actually recommend people to do 
to learn from multiple resources at the same time. So in conjunction, so that you're not just um, you're not just lim you're not just limiting yourself to like one source of info because programming there's multiple ways that it can be done. Um, so for example, like JavaScript understanding the weird parts, you could probably like watch this uh, while you're going through uh, the JavaScript and algorithm section on Free Code Camp. Like there's nothing wrong with that, and it's totally fine. And also while you're maybe when you're learning like HTML and CSS on um, like on the on the front end it's because like since html css is not really programming because you're not really writing like variables you're not writing loops you're not writing like logic um, a lot of it's hard coded you can actually uh, learn code gym at the same time to get familiar with like a back-end language using java so i recommend learning things from multiple resources not like just uh n not just you know like learning straight off of one so uh, th yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please let me know where you guys like to learn, um, where you guys like to learn how to code and also like, yeah, put some resources, uh, in the comments and let me know. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, also I'm going to start, uh, with, I'm going to start uploading a JavaScript, uh, practical JavaScript course, um, for, for web development. Uh, so if you guys are interested, uh, stay tuned and subscribe uh, for that type of content if you're interested. So yeah, thank you guys. See you. Take care.